Now, the next thing we're going to talk about reminds me of this dream that I had a long time ago. I was in a computer lab in my dream and I was arguing with somebody about the order of operations. And he was doing the order of operations wrong and I said, I know PIMDAS. PIMDAS is a good friend of mine. And you, sir, are no PIMDAS. You guys know PIMDAS, don't you? No. I do. All right. Some people know PIMDAS. And I never, ever said this until I started teaching this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Sound familiar? I don't have an Aunt Sally. I don't either. I always hated this. Now, here's how many steps do you see here? Six. six. If you see six, you are wrong. You have one, two, three, four steps. Here are the steps. Step one, P stands for parentheses. Really what this means is any type of grouping symbol. Do what's inside the grouping symbols first. Now we may use parentheses, we may use brackets for grouping symbols, so just be aware of that. So after parentheses, we have exponents. So after you've done what you can do inside parentheses, then you move on to exponents. Step three is multiply and divide from left to right. See, multiply and divide. This happens in the same step. Multiplication and division are, are sticky mathematical operations. They will stick numbers together. They're kind of gluey. Does that make sense? Think about multiplication, things are stuck together. And so you have to take care of those guys from left to right. The last step we have here is to add and subtract from left to right. So add and subtract from left to right. Four steps. Only four steps. Are you with me? Now we saw some of this uh, the other day when we were working with uh, the distributive property. So if I were to say this, if I were to say negative 9 times 5 plus 3. I could very easily use the distributive property. Or I could do the order of operations here. Order of operations says do what's inside the parentheses first. So I have parentheses here and I need to take care of what's inside there. So what do we have? So it's negative 9 times 8 and I've finished this. There are no exponents. I do multiplication and division from left to right, so negative 9 times 8 is what? <coughs> negative 72. What do you think? The order of operation is always there. Always there. If I were to do this, if I said 7 times 3 minus 4 divided by 2. I've got three different operators present here. Multiplication, division, and subtraction. Go through the order of operations. and You may write this down on every single page on your test. PEMDAS. Do you have parentheses to worry about here? Grouping symbols. No. 2. Do you have exponents? No. 3. Do you have multiplication and division? Yes. 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 Now this is what this is what I'll do. I've got multiplication and division here and here, right? What do I do first? I've got multiplication first, and then I'm going to have division second because they go from left to right. So what does that give me? Minus 
I get 21, and then over here I get a 2. Do you all agree? Multiplication connects the 7 and 3. It sticks them together. 4 divided by 2 sticks together those guys. And now I have 21 minus 2. So what's 21 minus 2? just 19. Questions about that? All right. So, <clears throat> so what? So you decided to do 4 divided by 2 first. Then you count the okay. Yeah. So you I do multiplication and division from left to right as it occurs in the problem before I get to addition and subtraction. For example, if I, if I were to have this. Eight divided by two times 15 divided by 20. I cannot do this in any order that I want. I must do it from left to right. Now, are there parentheses here? No. Are there exponents? No. no. All I have is multiplication and division. You must go from left to right. So it means you must do this division first, followed by the multiplication, followed by the division. You have to. What's 8 divided by 2? So this first part is 4, and I'll bring down everything else. So I've got 4 times 15 divided by 20. Then what? 4 times 15 is 60, and then I bring down this divide by 20. And what's 60 divided by 20? What is it? Three. It's just three, right? Order is very, very important to us. Very important. Questions about that one? Let's try this one. How about negative 17 minus 3? times 2 to the third minus negative 12. When you look at this, I, I need you to be able to see what's connected and what's disconnected. If you have addition and subtraction, that separates your pieces. So I look at this, I say I've got negative 17 by itself. And then here's a minus, so there's something else that comes after it. So it's kind of separate, separate from that. I see 3 times 2 to the third. I see this guy right here. This guy, to me, feels like he's all glued together because he's stuck together through multiplication. And you've got to train your brain to see it that way. I've been doing this so long, I see that, and I see them stuck together. And I know that I can't do negative 17 minus. I can't do that. If I do that, I'm wrong. I do what's connected first. Here's a minus sign, so that's, sub that's separating this guy from the rest of the problem. What of operations first? Are there parentheses? No. There are, but is there anything to do with that negative 12? Not really. No. If it said 2 minus 12 on the inside, yes. All right, so uh, exponents. Do I have exponents to do? Yes. yes. Exponents are right here. Now, here's something you need to understand. We said exponents, that's really multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. So even though it says do exponents first, that is true. But if you see that 2 to the third is really 2 times 2 times 2, you're just seeing it as a big multiplication problem. So this is negative 17 minus 3 times what? 8 minus negative 12. All right. Exponents are done. Multiplication and division from left to right. So that's just a negative 17 minus 3 times 8. What does that give me? That's minus 24. Now, I kind of see this as multiplication. A minus minus 12 is what? That's a plus 12. 
Am I done with multiplication and division? Yes, the last step says add and subtract from left to right. But what we know is that we have the commutative and associative properties of addition, so the order doesn't really matter. I can rearrange this in any order that I want as long as you know you have a negative 17, a negative 24, and a positive 12 that you're adding together. So I'm going to do this. What happens when I combine these two guys right here? Okay, you know what? Fine. You don't like that? That's fine. Pretend I didn't do that. I don't want to know the answer anymore, so don't tell me. What's a negative 24 plus 12? That's a minus 12, right? Uh, you, you guys are right. So if I do it this way, there's no borrowing that I have to do. No carrying. Good. Good eyes. I like that. What's a negative 17 minus 12? They're both negative. So it's negative what? Negative 29. You could have gotten it the other way. Negative 17 minus 24 is a negative 41. Negative 41 plus 12, it still gives you negative 29. Okay.